And first at 10, a pickup truck mows down four pedestrians in Midtown. Tonight, we're learning new details about what the driver did before he got behind the wheel. 7 Action News reporter Aaron Baskerville is live in Midtown after talking to the driver's family. Aaron? Yeah, Stephen and Glenda had the chance to talk to members of that driver's family, but we've been out here for a real long time. We're on Canfield near 2nd in Midtown. This is where this accident happened around 520 tonight. You can see where I'm standing. I'm standing in between cars around these cars. That's where these four people were tonight. They were looking at some Teslas over here for a Tesla event. That car crossed the center lane and then came over here. You're looking at a trailer. You can see some damage over there. That truck ran into that trailer. That and ended up going down about a half a block before eventually stopping. Like you said, we're learning a whole lot more about that driver, including why he shouldn't have been on the roads in the first place. And I holler, Mark, Marky. And by that time, I, I see an older white guy push off the car, but it was, it was too late. He had already hit the guy. So the only thing I can think about is take the gear shift and slam the car in park. This man who does not want to be identified is a family member of the driver of this truck. He was also inside when it slammed into four on Canfield in Midtown, right outside of Shinola. Witnesses scrambled to the injured. I heard a really loud noise and I like came over here and looked and suddenly three people were on the ground and one of them was underneath the Airstream trailer. Investigators surrounded this vehicle tonight searching for evidence after sources say the driver admitted to taking the drug ecstasy this morning. They also say he had been drinking. The truck crossed into the wrong lane barreling over two men and two women all between the ages of 50 and 73. Scott Lowell is the GM at Traffic Jam and Snug and was one of the first to run over to the truck and make sure the driver did not run away. Uh, he had stopped and ran up and snapped his uh, license number uh, in case he decided to change his mind and called Wayne State. The driver's family member tells Action News he stopped the car from continuing the coast and claims this all started with a missed turn down an alley on Canfield. Sources tell us the driver has never had a license in his life. First thing they say is alcohol and drugs. Let the police do their work. We'll find out later. Well, once again, sources are telling us that that driver this morning, sometime early this morning, took two ecstasy pills. Of course, he went to the hospital also to get a, a blood draw. We're learning a whole lot more also about some of these victims. That 73-year-old man, that man that was injured out here, he was taken to the hospital in critical condition. He had some severe head injuries. Two others had serious injuries, considered to be in serious condition, and one person decided not to go to the hospital at all. For now, we're live in Midtown. Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. All right, Aaron, thank you for gathering information.